What's going on guys, JSQ here and welcome to a Minecraft 1.13 tutorial on this beautiful frozen deep ocean world where um, I'm going to be showing you stuff about blue ice which is a new block in uh, Minecraft 1.13 uh, but before we get into it I'd appreciate if you hit that subscribe button and also drop a like on the video to keep supporting these uh, because what I tend to do is with major Minecraft updates I make loads and loads of little... Uh, videos or a series as you like on how to do certain things on the new features in the uh, in the updates to help specifically uh, new players but um, obviously anyone else that wants to know as well but um, yeah without further ado blue ice what blue ice is it allows you to slip faster um, and in my humble opinion it looks cooler than packed ice and um, it doesn't actually let mobs travel as fast in there you can put things in there so if I just get a bit of packed ice uh, I don't know where it's gone. There it is. And throw it into here. Blue ice is on the bottom there, by the way. It's not normal packed ice. So if I throw that in there, it just flings things off like that. Jeez. <laughs> yeah. Um, so that is what blue ice does. You can find it underneath icebergs. All of these are icebergs down here. You can see a little blue ice attached to that there and down there and over there. But there's also some big ice spikes as well that contains blue ice. Um, now the only ways to obtain it is with is silk touch pickaxe so you can either mine it directly or if you're struggling to find any you can actually get lots of packed ice again with a silk touch pickaxe and you can craft it like so and you'll get one blue ice out of um, the nine packed ice that you should put in the crafting table. Personally it's probably a lot quicker in my opinion to get it by mining a big ice spike like that with a silk touch pickaxe and because obviously you get one blue ice per every nine packed ices which doesn't seem very efficient a quick overview of what i've just said the blue ice the main features are that um it's a lot slippier than packed ice so you can travel faster on it um mobs don't actually travel as quick on it than you so you can get away quicker from mobs um it flings stuff faster like that <laughs> or not thing it transports entities faster should i say um so if i get in there that would be a lot faster if you compared it to packed ice on the bottom um, and also boats can travel faster on it as well, uh, which is quite useful to know. Um, and also, the last feature I want to show you is um, blue ice doesn't actually melt by light sources. So if I put a bit of blue ice next to this uh, light, it won't actually melt. And you've probably noticed over time that other packed ice like this here would melt. Um, so that would melt, but the blue ice wouldn't. So that's quite useful to know if you're actually building a house. You could actually just build a house out of... Um, blue ice and it'll be all right it's a nice little cool igloo in a desert biome i don't know if that would work but um if any of you guys ever find that out come on put it in the comments but that's pretty much it for this tutorial guys i've got loads more tutorials on uh, the 1.13 features that'll be on my channel in a playlist somewhere uh, probably 1.13 tutorials and uh, if you've got any questions by the way please drop it in the comments below and i'll reply to you as fast as i can but um, yeah as always guys please drop a like and also subscribe to the channel um for more stuff like this and uh, yeah, it's been JSQ, and I'll see you in the next one. Peace. <laughs>